from here in Seattle? No? Our oh, age group, I guess. <laughs> okay, thank you. So we don't have brokers. Never heard of them. They're on Three's Company. Okay. Never heard of them. Well, that guy, you got to be a... The neighbors are on Three's Company. On Three's Company. You haven't heard of the Seattle band, the Ropers? Uh, you tell them that? No. Okay. So how do you have to get free checks or what you have to No. Just ask them. No way. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? You're taking up our time filming this? Hi. 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 Hi.
Seth Lundquist here. I'm uh, I'm supposed to uh, direct the Ropers on how to get to 1330 Lester Penbrocker Road. And uh, basically what you guys are going to have to do is uh, you're going to have to start out here at about Tingula Shan Avenue, right? Take this straight on down to about four blocks. There's going to be a great little place called Win Fat Dax Teriyaki Chicken. Now when you get there, I advise you stop in, sit down, get yourself, first of all, order the mount of fries. That mount of fries, keep them this way, that way, you won't believe it. Along with that, three and a half pieces of the largest dipinous chicken you ever saw in your life. After you get there, wipe off good cleanup. They've got paper towels. Get on up the road this way up to Leon Gao Avenue. Take a left at the light till you get to the fork in the road. When you get there, take a right, go up the Trero Avenue, take uh, three more blocks up to about 15th, past the Titty Bar, there, wherever they have uh, Carlotta Chase, the biggest breast you've ever seen. Go on down that way, take a right at the light down. 16th Avenue. When you get there, hang a left, get stop after about six blocks, and there you have it. That should be easy to find. We can take a taxi. Got any money? No. But we can go check my cash machine. Cash machine? Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the cash machine. Let's put on our cash machine clothes. We'll get the money. You guys can call the taxi. Hey, wait a minute. Why do punk rockers always have to... Sid Luckhurst again, and uh, I'm here to address something that you folks are probably all wondering about. Why punk rockers dress so weird? Why is it that they have to walk down the street and, uh, and uh, offend you every day that you're on your way to work trying to uh, earn your 9-to-5 bread? And here they are, offending you right in front of your eyes. 
you know, it's uh, probably all kinds of justifications, such as they want to they want to offend their parents, they want to be against the status quo. Now, what I said here, check this out, 39.50 from Dragsteads, Missoula, Montana. You want quality, folks? You gotta travel. You gotta travel far and wide. See? Yeah. Gee. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, you can you tell me where I can catch the bus? Buddy, we got a policy. You wanna 
ask a question, you gotta make a purchase. Right now, your question is worth the soda pop. 59 attacks. You're kidding! Another question. 45 cents. Kidding. Another question. That's a candy bar. 45 cents. You can charge people for asking questions. A box of Kleenex. 89 attacks. Are you insane? Now you're getting personal. That's a combo with the works, buddy. 369 attacks. What kind of greedy capitalist are you anyway? Now you're really personal. That's going to be our most expensive ice cream. 459. Look, punk. You musicians come here all the time asking questions. You want to ask. Want to know where the bus stop is? Want to know what time it is? Can I have some change? Time's money. Buy something. Put up, shut up, or pay up. All I want to know is where the bus is. I don't want to buy anything. What's your problem? Another candy bar. Another candy bar. What is your problem? Another candy bar. You're putting me on. Another candy bar. You're really serious? Another candy bar. I'm not taking this crap. I'm out of here. Hey, you. Come back here. That's 1447 you owe me. If you're any kind of musician, you know how to play tax, man. And I bet you don't. Lousy musicians. That's something. Well, nothing really happened to me. I just went out and made for a ride. Street. Ah, hey, hey, buddy, buddy, what's, what's going on, man? You just get in the car. Shut okay, up, okay, get in the car. yeah, okay, okay, man. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh -huh. Sure. I got you. I got you. Whatever. Wait, wait, okay, okay, man. Just sack. Just, just get sack. in. Just a sack. A man. A man. Man. <laughs> what else do you want? You put my beer. Oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what's going on? Wait, man? Turn around, man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're going for a ride, buddy. All right. All right. Sure. Sure. All right. <laughs> Where are we going, man? We just want you to shut up! All right, all right. <laughs> okay. Yeah? No, okay, we want you, man. I want you to shut up! Right, put the light down, man. I'll be cool, man. Shut up! Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> close whoa that's weird I didn't do anything I just called everybody
need to sell light bulbs, right? Oh, the foundation uh, broke people. We need money. No? Oh, you want me to change my phone service? Well, I'd like to get that right. But, yeah, I really don't have time to talk with salesmen who are wishy-washy, so I have to go. Okay, goodbye. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Hi, thank you for calling Food Sex Hotline. I'm really into some chips and salsa. What would you like? Uh, oh my god! Ah, I bet you would, you purr! Constraints we find the robos at 1313 Lester Franken. such and such. <laughs> wait a minute, wait, stop! This is getting irritating here. Let's try this here. They got two guys playing the same guy. Let's just rewind this thing here. Let's see, okay, okay, let's just go on here. Alright, alright, we'll pass the cards, okay. Hey, let's see it. Oh, God, forget it. <laughs> nope, it's getting. What? Boy, that little girl's gonna be glad to have us play here. Yeah. Little girl. Hi, Roper's glad you can make it. This is the sweet, innocent little girl. Hey guys, wanna buy a t-shirt? Yeah, sure. 20 bucks. <laughs> what sort of greedy capitalist are you? Hey guys, look at this. That's right, John. Look at all this fine Roper's merchandise you can buy. A Roper's foam. How about a Roper's doll? A warm Roper's robe. Yes, all this stuff can be purchased in the catalog through a... What? Wait a minute, cut. Hey, cut. I mean, what, look at this. This is crass commercialism. This is this is just like junk that has Roper stickers that I made on it. I mean, this is what... This, is this what music is all about, just making money? Well, uh, what is it? The, what's, what's the problem you guys have with uh, these big rock stars making all this money from uh, doing what they do best? I mean... Uh, you know, what's the, what's the problem? You got some uh, some ethical thing against it or something like that? Or or uh, what's the deal? I mean, so you make a little dough, maybe you're not going to be successful forever. You put a little of that dough in some investments, grease some palms here, grease some palms there. You guys are sitting pretty. Even after you're big and fat and ugly after a few whiles and all the little teeny boppers stop popping their training bras over you, you're still going to be in good shape. So what's the problem? Well, okay. No, man. Let's go. <laughs> Wait! I have a deal for you! We'll split the profits 50-50! Okay! Introducing 
got on a bus. I went to the back of the bus, but the funniest thing of it all is I couldn't find any place to sit. The worstest place of all, so I decided to sit in the front of the bus. I sat by a young kid. It looked like he came out of high school or something. The worst thing about it, he had this brown paper bag and had pulled out one with gym shorts and then the other with blue potato chips. So I wrote this song about it called Goober. Baby knocks and bellows and baby knocks and beans. Through the girls that I need is to dig gum and their seed. All those that pack my last in an overboard cut. Now they sent me home and my gym shorts fell oh yeah. Hands and some more misses, and they did what every successful band does. Oh, what's that? They broke up. Mm-hmm. Well, we'd like to give special thanks to Tim Island of Delhi Express. <laughs>